Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be talking about a 50-year-old male patient with post-traumatic cataract and zonular dialysis. In addition to the large zonular dialysis, the patient has also vitreous in the anterior chamber. I start the surgery with creating a Hoffman pocket at the center of this dialysis. The important thing with the Hoffman pocket is you need to be cautious not to be too deep, otherwise you will end up losing your suture or you don't want to be too superficial so that your suture will erode the superficial sclera and the conjunctiva on top of it. Ideally, the depth of the Hoffman pocket should be around one third of the scleral thickness or around 250 to 300 microns. Next, I'm entering the anterior chamber with 20 gauge MVR knife and start doing a vitrectomy. And during this procedure, you will see how unstable the lens is. The lens has more than 180 degrees zonular dialysis. However, we are actually very fortunate to see that after injecting an ocular viscoelastic device into the anterior chamber, the lens has stabilized tremendously. Even after entering the anterior chamber with a 2.8 mm knife, we are able to penetrate the anterior capsule with a cystotome and finish the continuous curvilinear capsular axis with an ultrata forceps. During these maneuvers, we didn't need any uh, additional uh, procedures such as handling the anterior capsule with another forceps or hanging the anterior capsule with, a, with, a, with an iris hook or uh, a capsular hook. In this case, we, we were able to finish the capsular rexus without any additional maneuvers. And Usually, we don't see the equatorial region of the lens, but in this case, we can see it, and I'm going to show you in slow motion how the hydrodissection works. Right now, you can see the fluid wave between the lens material and the capsule. After hydrodissection, we're not doing the uh, rotation of the lens material, but we need to stabilize the lens and capsular complex. For this reason, we are just inserting an iris hook to support the anterior capsule. And then we, are, we have planned a Sioni ring uh, to go forward. So we are inserting the Sioni ring into the capsular bag and uh, suturing the hook uh, with two PC9 sutures. Uh, we're going to use these sutures to secure the Sioni ring through the Hoffman pocket. After tying the sutures and locking them, uh, we are inserting the Sioni ring into the capsular bag and we're going to be dialing the Sioni ring so that it uh, corresponds to the Hoffman pocket. Uh, after dialing in, it in place, I'm removing the uh, iris retractor because now I'm going to be stabilizing the lens capsule material with a Sioni ring. I'm using a 26 gauge needle here as a guide for the PC9 needles and I am pulling them transconjunctively. After pulling both uh, PC9 sutures transconjunctively, about 1.5 millimeters posterior to the limbus and about 1 millimeter apart from each other, uh, we can then tie it temporarily uh, on top of the conjunctiva. Now we have a centralized and stabilized lens capsule material and now we can move forward with the phacoemulsification safely. Even though the patient was a 50-year-old male, the nuclear material was very soft and we can uh, extract the nuclear and epinuclear material with flip techniques. After the uh, removal of the nuclear and epinuclear material, we move forward with irrigation and aspiration uh, to remove all the remaining cortical material. One should be very careful about irrigation and aspiration of the cortical material while there is a ring in place because the ring is pushing the cortical material to the equatorial region of the 
capsule. Uh, for the final step of the phaco mossification, we uh, insert an intraocular lens with the help of an ocular viscoelastic device. Uh, and when the lens is in place, without removing the OVD, we are going to tie the sutures through the Hoffman pocket uh, to stabilize the lens permanently. So I'm now removing the sutures uh, from the Hoffman pocket and tying them, uh, just making sure that the intraocular lens is stabilized and it's centralized without tying them too tightly. Uh, after tying them for three times, uh, I cut the ends long and put the long suture ends into the half mount pocket. After removing the ocular viscoelastic device with irrigation and aspiration, our surgery is uh, concluded. Thank you for watching.